This next uh, part of my session is around 10 things that our research organization has identified as influencing the immediate future. Now, as I tell people, I don't know exactly what's gonna happen next, nobody does, and I don't know specifically when it's gonna happen, but I know that there's certain determinants that are shaping the future real time. And so anticipation means being in sync with the trends and then getting just ahead of them. So here are the 10 trends that we've identified as a research company. Number one, fear, anxiety, and doubt will be the three dominant emotions. So as a leader, your job and my job is to reassure people, to give them the confidence and the peace of mind to continue with their lives. And that's what you do. You, you beautify their environment so they can escape from fear, anxiety, and doubt. The second one is contact avoidance, right? Uh, we all understand the importance of social distancing, uh, but in the absence of not being able to physically embrace someone or even shake their hand, you've got to do it with your voice. You've got to do it without contact. So I hope that as you can see, as I'm talking to you, I am letting you know just how delighted and how much I like all of you simply because you're giving me the opportunity to talk to you. <laughs> Number three, virtual communication. Look, no matter what happens with COVID, no matter how rapidly the economy reopens, we're all gonna be uh, operating at a hybrid level. Yes, we're gonna have direct communication, but this will be the dominant channel. So when it comes to communication, get used to communicating on this. Find a way to enjoy talking to a webcam. See yourself as the uh, um, host of your own reality show. Make sure that when people know they've got a conversation with you, that becomes the highlight of their day. Be expressive. Use uh, any tools that you can to really magnetize others to you and maximize your impact. Look, uh, the truth is, at least for the next year, we're going to be going through a global contraction from an economic standpoint, from a travel standpoint, from a social standpoint. So here's a very important point. The vast majority of people are contracting along with their environment. They are battening down the hatches. They are getting into their foxholes. But what I want to say to you is that if you adopt an expansionary mindset, a growth mindset, if you reach out and embrace others, virtually speaking, then you will have an incredible competitive advantage because the vast majority of people will be pulling in their horns, as it were. Now, this is, this is a critical slide, number six, uh, five, and that is trust in tribes. So there's so much uncertainty out there that people will reach out to people who've come through for them in the past. You know, the reason why Kelly reached out to me to help kick off this program is that about 10 years ago, I did a program for uh, her and uh, her delegates. We were out in uh, uh, Vail. The session went very well. Some of you may even have been there. And Kelly remembered me. I've stayed in touch with her. And that's why I won the right to talk to you. So every conversation is an investment in your future. Every interaction matters because that's the interaction that influences whatever happens next. Number six, breakneck breakthroughs. Uh, COVID has been a major accelerant. We've got some of the smartest people in the world who are hunting for vaccines, but you and I are hunting for our own vaccines and so are customers. So I'm gonna share something with you. There will only be two kinds of people in this world, the quick and the dead. And if you're not quick, you're gonna be dead. <laughs> Number seven, the great give back. So if you look at what's happening, we've got a confluence of pandemics. We've got a health pandemic. We've got a social pandemic. We've got a society that desperately needs those of us who have to give to those who need. And there's a great adage that says, to those who much is given, much is expected. And that truth has never been more important than it is now. And so I want to say to you, that philanthropy is mandatory. And I know the best of you in this call are very active in your respective communities. Uh, number eight, uh, I love this, this trend and it's one that I keep top of mind for me and that is healthy gratitude. Um, you know, so I sit here before you and uh, I'm uh, well uh, into my uh, sixth decade, <clears throat> but I've never been more cognizant of how grateful I am to be healthy. Uh, when we look around us, when we see the number of people that didn't make it this far, uh, who were or who perished in the last uh, four months, 
Uh, not a second goes by where I don't breathe, uh, a, you know, a really grateful thanks to my higher power. But then the other issue about gratitude is I'm very cognizant of all the people out there who are putting themselves in harm's way on the front line so that I can live my life the way I am right now. So everyone to me is a hero. Anyone who's helping anybody else get through this time is a hero and we need to seize every opportunity to express our gratitude and our thanks to the people around us. Number nine is authentic humanity. So look, um, in this new age, as you experiment with new approaches, as you take action on the commitments that uh, you've made, and we're gonna go through those in a moment, just know that uh, you're gonna fumble, you're gonna stumble, you're gonna fall. And I'll give you one of my favorite quotes, uh, success is a result of taking missteps in the right direction, okay? So as long as you're moving forward, we call that progress, right? And so don't be afraid uh, to let people see who you truly are. Don't be afraid to make mistakes and make those mistakes transparent because that's what people want. They want that warmth. And by the way, they want it even more because they cannot be with you physically to the same extent that might have been there uh, in the past. And then finally, uh, let me just bring it all together because this block is really what we're all about and that is personal precedent. Today, you and I could do something that has never ever been done before. In fact, it's likely we're gonna do something that hasn't been done before. We're all experimenting with the new technology and the different models and different partnerships and different collaborations. And so you've gotta be willing now to be the point person. You've gotta be willing to be that rider at the front of the peloton. Or as we say here in, in Canada, you gotta be the lead Canada goose uh, who's flying at the point of that V. Uh, because as you go, so other people will follow. We're all a role model to the people around us. 